In most of my videos on Jehovah Witnesses, I like to bring out a different perspective than most. However, I just got the book Reasoning from the Scriptures with Jehovah Witnesses. Though I have only read about 90 pages so far, I can highly recommend this book. With that in mind, I want to share one thing from the book so far to show why I recommend it. This is only one example. This is on page 34 and 35. The reference is Acts chapter 8, verses 26 through 40. Many of us have been told by a Jehovah Witness that we need someone to teach us the Bible using the material of the Watchtower. Now, there is a place to be taught by the Holy Spirit as he illuminates the scriptures to us and teachers like myself and others that help build up the body of Christ. However, the Watchtower gives an example of a man who was reading the Bible as he traveled. Probably not the safest thing to do, but he probably did not have a lot of traffic to deal with. Then Philip came up to him and asked him if he knew what he was reading. The man replied, how can I know except the man show me? I would like to point out that this is a man's opinion, the eunuch that is, and not a command of God. With that being said, here are some quotes from the book that are truly simple and effective. Quote, Philip taught an Ethiopian man directly from the scriptures, not from literature designed by an organization. End quote, page 34. Yet notice the eunuch did not have a Tuesday night Bible study after this. Quote, the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Acts 8.39, page 34. Finally, these two quotes drive home the point. Quote, did Philip use scripture alone in talking to the eunuch? Or did he have to use additional literature? Last quote, if scriptures alone were sufficient for Philip and the eunuch, is not scripture alone sufficient for us as well? End quote. There are many quotes from the Watchtower that this book states that unless a person is using material from the Watchtower, they cannot see the full truth of the scripture. To me, why do Jehovah's Witnesses use the example of the eunuch who doesn't know anything as the standard, while well, God used Philip that brought salvation to the eunuch and was in such demand that God translated him to preach elsewhere. One last thought, Acts 8.35. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. So what do you think the Holy Spirit, the author of the scripture, speaks of? The watchtower or Jesus. John 1526 says, but when the comforters come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And lastly, what should we speak of? John 539, search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. In conclusion, Jesus always responded with the word. And since he is our example, we should do the same. Because the scriptures themselves give life. He, Jesus even himself said that the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And if you really want to partake of that life, then you must partake of the word of God, which is Jesus in written form.